Hey, we are Dravis and Anna. We've been in Funchal, the capital of Madeira, for two days, but haven't yet explored all that it has to offer. So our plan for today is to immerse ourselves in the city and its culture and mentally prepare for our first ever canyoning experience. While uh, Dravish gets the GPS ready, I'll tell you a little bit about the plan for today. So first of all, we're heading to the fish market. We were there two days ago around five o'clock, but of course around that time it, it was completely empty. So we're going to try again and hopefully see some of the scabbard fish, which Madeira is uh, famous for. I read that this fish is only found in a few parts in the world where the ocean reaches uh, sufficient depth. After We've had enough of the scary looking fish. We are heading up the mountain in the cable car to the very top of Funchal, where we're going to be spending a couple of hours in the Monte Gardens. In the Monte Gardens, it's just supposed to be very beautiful and Japanese inspired. And then for the most exhilarating part of the day, we are going tobogganing. And for those of you who don't know what tobogganing is, keep watching. And for those of you who do know what tobogganing is, still keep watching. Scabbard fish is by far the most popular fish on the island. It accounts for half of all fish caught around Madeira. And although a little hard to imagine, it's a local delicacy which is typically eaten topped with cooked bananas. We can confirm it's delicious. Right next door to the fish market, there's a colorful fruit and veg market. Most countries, they have them, but they don't produce fruit. They find them talking about Even the way to eat it is different. Very sweet, right? It's like a fruit salad. It's like banana, pineapple, kiwi. All you have to do is wait for the skin to start dropping. It peels itself. As the skin drops, you can just hold it in it, like a cone. What does it taste like? I can't describe it. It's very <laughs> unique. Guava. This is the only fruit that we have right now here. Okay. You know pocha? Pocha, yeah, yeah. It is very nice. It will make you also uh, help uh, speak Portuguese. So Dravish just got ripped off. <laughs> How? What do you mean how? Oh, we got some bananas. For nine euros? Bananas, uh, a special type of orange. Oh my god! Wow! And it's fruit. Yeah. After emptying our pockets on fruits the price of gold, we headed to Monte Palace Tropical Garden. It's a botanical garden located on a hill north of Funchal at 560 meters above sea level. The easiest and prettiest way to get there is by cable car, five minutes walk from the market. We bought tickets for a one-way ride, which takes you up the mountain in 15 minutes. Monte Garden covers an area the size of 13 football fields and includes everything from local and international flora and fauna, a museum with crystals from all over the world and beautiful artwork dotted around the park. Entry costs 12.50 per person and includes Madeiran wine tasting. A popular dish in Madeira is beef espetada, cooked on a wooden laurel stick. And this is the tree that that stick was made out of. If I lived in the time of these terracotta models, I would be a very tall woman. <laughs> okay. Well, along with our tickets at Monte Palace, we get free wine tasting. So this is Madeiran wine. I guess this one is sweet and yours is dry. Okay. Oh, I 
quite strong. <laughs> It's good, it's good. This one's quite sweet. To get back down to Funchal, we're going to be pushed down a mountain in a basket by these two dapper looking men who only have their boots to use as brakes. While not as scary as we had imagined, it was definitely a unique experience. Pretty cool that this is really how people got around in the early 19th century. Seeking something more adventurous, the next day we went canyoning. We opted for the beginner's canyoning experience, which turned out a little more challenging than we had expected. My legs were shaking at this point. Going down is by far the hardest part. The duration of the experience really varies depending on your group and can fluctuate anywhere between 3 to 6 hours. Luckily we didn't have anything else planned that day, apart from a well-deserved dinner. So where are we at? We're at Santo Antonio restaurant, having a traditional espadado on a wooden stick. After a long day of canyoning, it took a lot longer than expected, about six hours in Turkey, yeah. so we're famished. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do we have here? Uh, some maize cubes, fried maize cubes. Also delicious. Wait for all to evaporate. <laughs> okay. That evening we packed our bags because it was time to head to our new location. In the next video we explore the more remote northern coast and visit the most magical place on the island so far. <laughs>